Hello guys, welcome back. Good to see you one more time. Hello uh, everybody. How are Hello, you? Hello teacher. Hello. Hello guys, good to hear you. So let's get to the lesson, right? Uh, let's go and uh, tell me what did we learn yesterday? What did we learn yesterday, Ellen Nilsson? ¿Qué aprendimos ayer? What did you learn yesterday, Ellen Nilsson? Ellen Nilsson, Ellen Nilsson, sorry. Okay, hello, Ellen Nilsson. Your microphone is not working. No? No? Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, Jorge, what did you learn yesterday, Jorge? Okay, uh, about the understanding body language. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you sitting? Uh, are you crossing R for mm -hmm. the most uh, spelling E A and G forms mm -hmm. and the conversation? Yes, right. And the writing section that you were they use the rules. And the rules, right? The rules. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jorge. So let's go to today's lesson. And uh, today we're going to have a video activity, right? Uh, we're going to learn how to tell time, right? And that's some production activities for you to practice. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. So uh, we're going to have uh, this time this uh, video activity. So what we are going to do is that we're going to watch a video we're going to watch a video and then we are going to complete this part. Pay attention to this because it is not going to be exact, right? So you have to pay special attention in order to complete this part. Okay, vamos a ver un video y vamos a completar this section, right? Pongamos atención, pay attention to the words and expression they are going to say. I don't know if you have questions, guys, about the activity, about what we are going to do, questions? No questions, okay? Esta es una actividad de listening and uh, espero nos pueda ayudar with that part that it is very essential, right? Okay, let's go to the video. Vamos a ver el video. And then uh, les voy a compartir the exercise in the WhatsApp. So you can check at the same time, right? Some of the phrases. Okay, let's see. Um, give me just a second. Uh, there it is. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me know if you can see the picture, the task, these guys. Okay, can you see it? Let me know, please. No. No yet? In your, in your WhatsApp? Yes, in the WhatsApp, can you check it, please? Yes. Okay. We have. Okay, yes. thank you. So let's go with. It. Okay, thank you. Let's go with the video and uh, try to pay uh, attention right to that part. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me know if you can see. Okay, can you see the video? Let me know, guys, if you can see the video. Yes, no. I guess. Si, ¿Sí, podemos ver el video? Can you see the video? No. Podemos okay. ver que no. dice YouTube. YouTube, Pero okay, no. perfect, perfect. Okay, let's listen, right? Hello, everyone. I'm Jamal Green, and we're talking to people today about clothes. It's fall here in New England, and it's a cool, sunny day today. What are people wearing? Let's find out. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello there. We're talking to people about clothes. Uh, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a gray striped suit, brown tie, and black shoes. Is it a summer suit? No, it's for cool weather. It's good for the fall and spring. Very nice, very formal. Yes, I'm working today, so I'm wearing formal clothes. I see, I see. And this briefcase, is this yours? 
No, it's not mine. Oh, I'm so happy. This is my briefcase. <laughs> oh, oh, Brief I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Bye. This is my briefcase. It's new. Very nice. I like it. Thanks. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Sure, no problem. Bye bye. Bye. Here's Megan and Jasmine. And you're wearing school uniforms, right? Yes. yes. What is the uniform like for your school? My uniform is a tie, a white blouse, navy blue skirt, and white socks. And yours? White socks, a gray skirt, a white blouse, and a blue sweater. But you're not wearing it right now. That's right, but it's over there on the bench. Oh, oh okay. And these are your backpacks. Whose backpack is that? Is it yours? Yes, it is. The blue backpack is mine. And my backpack is yellow. Thanks, girls. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And what is your name? I'm Sheila. Hi, Sheila. And what is her name? This is Julie. Hi, Julie. So what are you wearing today? We're just wearing casual clothes. I have on boots and jeans, a blouse, a light jacket, and some sunglasses. And a very pretty purple scarf. Thank you. And what is Julie wearing? She's wearing blue pants, a white sweater, a pink hat. It's her favorite hat. That's a very pretty hat. Well, thank you both. Enjoy your day. Thank you, we will. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm Jamal Green, and I'm wearing a light blue shirt, black pants, and... Hey, where's my jacket? Oh, sorry, hey, excuse me. <laughs> sorry, that's right, actually hey, my jacket. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, guys, so tell me if uh, one more you... time. One more time. Okay, one more time. No problem. Let's listen. Remember that it is not going to be as the video appears, right, in that order. So you have to pay attention to some of the phrases. Hello, everyone. I'm Jamal Green, and we're talking to people today about clothes. It's fall here in New England, and it's a cool, sunny day today. What are people wearing? Let's find out. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Hello there. We're talking to people about clothes. Uh, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a gray striped suit, brown tie, and black shoes. Is it a summer suit? No, it's for cool weather. It's good for the fall and spring. Very nice, very formal. Yes, I'm working today, so I'm wearing formal clothes. I see, I see. And this briefcase, is this yours? No, it's not mine. Oh, I'm so happy. This is my briefcase. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Bye. This is my briefcase. It's new. Very nice. I like it. Thanks. Well, thank you for talking with us today. Sure, no problem. Bye-bye. Bye. Here's Megan and Jasmine. And you're wearing school uniforms, right? Yes. What is the uniform like for your school? My uniform is a tie, a white blouse, navy blue skirt, and white socks. And yours? White socks, a gray skirt, a white blouse, and a blue sweater. But you're not wearing it right now. That's right, but it's over there on the bench. Oh, oh okay. 
and these are your backpacks. Whose backpack is that? Is it yours? Yes, it is. The blue backpack is mine. And my backpack is yellow. Thanks, girls. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> and what is your name? I'm <laughs> Sheila. Hi, Sheila. And what is her name? This is Julie. Hi, Julie. So what are you wearing today? We're just wearing casual clothes. I have on boots and jeans, a blouse, a light jacket, and some sunglasses. And a very pretty purple scarf. Thank you. And what is Julie wearing? She's wearing blue pants, a white sweater, a pink hat. It's her favorite hat. That's a very pretty hat. Well, thank you both. Enjoy your day. Thank you, we will. Well, that's all the time we have. I'm Jamal Green, and I'm wearing a light blue shirt, black pants, and... Hey, where's my jacket? Oh, sorry, hey, excuse me. <laughs> sorry, that's all actually right, my that's jacket. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, all right, thank you. Okay, guys, there it is. Let's check together the answers, right? So let's do the first one. Can you help me, Gustavo, please? Can you read the first part? Okay. Uh, I don't, don't understand. I so so. But Jamal, mm -hmm. excuse me. Hello. Hello, dear. Mm -hmm. Jamal, we talking to people about two. Okay, so we have here. We. Yes, we are right. We're. Uh -huh. Or we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking to people about. Mm -hmm. About two. About. I'm sorry, Gustavo. I couldn't hear two? you. Uh -huh. Two. About about clothes, right? Ah, uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next one, eh, Gustavo. What are you? What are you today? Okay. So in that case, ¿cuál es la palabra? What is the word missing here? Doing. Wearing. 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 Yes, right. Wearing. What are you wearing? Yes. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing, what is the answer? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing. wearing today. Okay, today. the next one. I am, oh, I'm wearing. ¿Qué está usando? I am. Tired. Mm -hmm. Gray. Yes, right. A gray stripped suit, right? Okay, and the brown what? Tie. Tie. tie, yes, a brown tie. Then and black we have shoes. Black shoes, yes, right. Is it a what? Jamal says. Is it? Is it? Who has that word? Is New? it a summer? Oh. A summer suit? And then what is the word missing? What do you have? Mm -hmm. What do you have here, guys? No. It's for cool what? For cool what? What is the palabra? For cool. Mm -hmm. What is the word? For cool weather, right? For cool weather. It's good for the fall and the and that, who has this word? ¿Quién tiene esta palabra? It's good for the fall and winter. Yes, right. Yes, that's right. And winter. Okay. Then it says Jamal very, very. What do you have in this one? Very cool. Very nice, right? Very nice. And very formal. 
Yes, I'm. Who has that working, one? Working. Oh, yes, yes, I'm working, right? Working. I'm working today, so I'm wearing formal clothes. Yes, formal clothes. Okay, then says Jamal, I. What is the verb? He says something. I see it right. I see. So, what serían las dos palabras? What are the two missing words? What? Yeah. So, what? What are you wearing today? Today. Today, right? What are you wearing today? We are just wearing casual. Casual, casual clothes, yes. Okay, I have uh, on boots and jeans, a what? And a what? That is the, the part of Shayla, right? And a blouse, mm. blouse, a light jacket, and what is the word? What is the palabra? And some, yes, sunglasses. Ahora vamos con la línea, right? And a very pretty purple, right? Purple scarf. Thank you. And what is Julie? And what is Julie? ¿Cuál es la palabra? What is the word? Wearing. Wearing, wearing right? What is Julie wearing? Uh, she's wearing blue pants. Blue pants. pants. Blue pants. Yes, blue, blue pants. pants. And white. And a white. 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 And a white sweater, right? Sweater. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. a pink hat. It's her favorite. Yes, right. Favorite. Favorite hat. Okay. How did you feel this exercise? What do you think about this exercise? Was that easy? Was that medium or so-so? What do you think, Edenilson? Or how was it? Was it easy, difficult? Difficult. Intermediate. It's difficult. The difficult, the listening, right? Listening, it's just a matter of practice. Solo es cuestión de práctica listening. There is not a, a way to learn it fast. Just practicing, right? Podemos ver las noticias, por ejemplo, en inglés. Eso nos va a ayudar bastante. Hay muchos canales en YouTube donde ustedes pueden ver eh, los, lo que van diciendo, right? Lo pueden eh, también hacerlo de forma lenta o de forma rápida. So there are a lot of resources on the internet for you to practice this section. Okay, guys, so let's continue with the lesson that we have for today. And uh, as you know, we are going to talk about the time. What time do you get up, eh, Guadalupe? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? Yes, Guadalupe, what time do you get up? Uh -huh. ¿A qué horas nos levantamos? What time do you get up, Guadalupe? 2 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Okay, at 4 a.m. Okay, you, do you have to travel? Okay, very early, right, Guadalupe? Okay, what about uh, you, uh, Alberto? What time do you get up? Hi. Mm -hmm. What time do you get up? I hear mid, it's a mid at. Half? Seven, oh. a, a las siete y media nos levantamos? No, cinco y media. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> five and oh, a no, half, so. at five and a half, or five thirty, right? Five thirty. At five thirty. Okay, a.m. Okay, five thirty a.m. Yes, right there. Yeah. For some, it is still early. What about uh, you, Ivani? What time do you get up? I get up at... 6 a.m. <laughs> or 6 a.m. Do you live close or nearby to your workplace? Vive cerca del trabajo? Do you live nearby? Oh, so. Ah, okay. That's why, right? 
Sometimes if you live far, you have to wake up early. Yes. Okay, so as you can see here in the pictures, there are some times, right? Tenemos una certain time. For example, in Mexico, it says it is 10 a.m. In New York, it is like 11 a.m. In Dubai, 7 p.m., right? And then we have in this part in Seoul, we have that it is 12 a.m. Do you consider that, for example, at these time zones, we can have different shows? What do you think about these questions? Eh, ¿Creen que, por ejemplo, hay otros eh, eventos a esta hora? For example, in, let's say, Europe. Do they have different events en esta zona horaria? What do you think, eh, Carlos, for example, the shows or on the, on the television we can find? ¿Será que son los mismos? For example, right now you can see that there are some news, for, for example. Do you think that it changes? Será que cambia or not? Yes, it's because it's a new uh, television from Russia, a very different mm -hmm. uh, news in uh, Salvador because of the difference. The, the, how do you say what are you? The sun, the sun, because of the, the sun, sun schedule? The sun schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. yes right. Because it's uh, India and China, mm -hmm. um, I think, uh, get yes. up. <laughs> yes, right. They get up different, right? Here, for example, it's in the afternoon, and they can be maybe in the morning, right? It's totally different. That's right. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Example, Sydney. Yes, Sydney, right? Different from this uh, sun, right? Okay, so let's take a look of the time, right? How to say time. So remember that to ask, we have we can use what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? Eh, de esa podemos tomar. What time do you eh, have your breakfast? What time do you have your breakfast? Entonces, más que todo, vamos a utilizar el what time. Y lo demás sería el complemento, right, of the sentence. Para preguntar la hora, what time is it? That's it. So, vamos a ver algunas formas. Para decir en punto, vamos a decir o'clock, right? We have the example, it's two o'clock. Son las dos en punto. Para decir, por ejemplo, las dos y media. It's two thirty. También está el half también que nos indica thirty. <coughs> Half también. That, that is, it is the same as 30. Two and a half, right? Two and a half. Okay, podemos decir of two ways. Okay, tenemos la otra forma que podemos utilizar en el caso que sean las dos, cinco, right? Tenemos two, <coughs> sorry. Dos y cinco, it's two o oh, five, right? La otra forma de decirlo, it's Five after two, pasan cinco minutos de las dos. It's five after two. También podemos reemplazar el after por el past. Okay, también lo podemos reemplazar. That is another way. Tenemos el siguiente ejemplo. It's 2.40. Son las 2.40. That, esa es una forma, 2.40. Otra forma es utilizando el to. Para decir, faltan 20 para las 3. Vamos a utilizar el 2. Ok, then we have another way. It's 2.15, son las 2 y 15. También podemos utilizar a quarter para indicar 15. It's a quarter after 2, pasan 15 de las 2. La otra forma de utilizando 2, podemos utilizar it's a quarter to 3. Faltan 15 para las 3. O la otra forma, it's 2.45. Do you have questions about, for example, two after or everything is okay? Let me know, guys, if you have questions. Teacher, in two of, of five, no podemos utilizar lo mismo en it's two of 15. 15. It's two. O sea, poner el 
Oh, if you say, for example, two like this, two fifteen. Sí, o sea, utilizar el if eh, two o oh, oh, fifteen. Oh, no, in that case, no. Cambia. no. En ese caso, porque estamos utilizando el O, nos está indicando el cero, right? Eso es lo que está reemplazando, O, right? It's 206. En este caso, solo sería it's 215. Uh -huh. That is, that is, that is going to be it. Gracias. Teacher. Yes. It's correct, um, say, 25. 25, yes. It is correct. It is correct. They say basically O2. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So, any other question, guys? Okay, so let's take a look of the two, right? Porque vamos a utilizar bastante el two y el past, right? Vamos a utilizar bastante o el after. Okay, entonces hay una regla. That, for example, si estamos hablando desde las 12 hasta las 6, vamos a utilizar el past o el after. Si estamos utilizando el to, lo podemos utilizar desde las 6 hasta las 12. Okay, basically, that is the only difference. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo puedo decir faltan 35 para las 7? How can I say that, guys? ¿Cómo puedo decir faltan 35 para las 7? How can I say that, guys? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo puedo decir? O faltan 10 minutos, digamos, para las 7. Tenemos el reloj, digamos, a 6.50. La primera forma de decir sería it's... ¿Cuál es la it's primera a, forma? It's a 10. Ok, it's 10. Fast. Two. No, two. Two. two, to pass two, two? two. seven, two. right? Two. Seven. 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 Two. seven, okay. Otra forma, it's. ¿Qué otra forma? La, la, es la más sencilla. It's. It's six. Mm -hmm. It's uh, fifty. Fifty, yes. Fifty. It is six fifty. Exactly. Six fifty. Eh, what about, ¿qué pasa si tengo por al menos this watch, right? ¿Qué pasa si tenemos this one? ¿Cuáles son las dos formas? Which are the two ways? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo podemos decirla ahora in that case? For mm -hmm. it's, it's four. It's four. Twenty-five. Yes, it's four. Twenty-five, right? And the other way? Is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 25 past four. Yes, right. It's 25 past four. Past four. Yes, past four. And there it is, right? That is the difference between past and two. Questions about this? Questions? Okay, so if there are no questions, guys, it means we are okay with this topic. Okay, let's continue then, guys, with some exercise because the purpose is that you practice, right? Okay, but before, before going to the exercise, let's keep in mind the vocabulary we have. So we have that when we say in the morning, right, it is going to be a.m., right? <clears throat> in the morning. Para decir en punto, las dos en punto, as you know, we're going to use o'clock, or we can say p.m., or we can say noon, right, a mediodía. Eh, another way, for example, eh, tenemos in the afternoon, right, que sería también p.m., o si en el caso que es en punto, o'clock. Right. Then we have in the evening, right, que sería de las seis, en adelante, in the evening. Luego tenemos at night, que recordemos que at night lo vamos a utilizar cuando usted también eh, sale de algún lugar, right? And uh, I'm sorry, guys. Give me just a moment. I'm just going to drink water. Me da un momentito, guys.
Ok, guys, sorry. Ok, so, entonces tenemos el at night que lo vamos a utilizar en la noche, right? Or we can say PM. Luego tenemos midnight, que sería medianoche. I don't know if you have questions, guys, about these common expressions. No sé si tengamos dudas. Uh, mid time is 12 a.m. 12 a.m., yes. Posterior. Sería morning. Morning. Okay. Morning, okay. Okay, and there it is, right? Some of the expressions that we can use. So let's practice, right? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Ellos no utilizan madrugada. It is morning. It morning. Is morning. Yes, morning. Okay. Eh, y digamos, no es igual a las 12, digamos, pero digamos a la 1 o 2 pm siempre sería afternoon. Afternoon, oh, yes, afternoon, right. De 1 a 6. De 1 a 6, yes. Okay. Then it goes evening, right? Luego va el evening, de las 6 en adelante. Okay, guys, so let's continue. If there are no more questions. Okay, we are good then. So tell me the time, right? Okay, Ruth, the first one. Can you read the, the example, eh, Ruth, please? Podemos leer el example? Um, solo leamos, solo leamos, Ruth. What, what I is it? Mm -hmm. It's, it's ten after, after ten, mm -hmm. or it's ten ten. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ruth. Vamos con el siguiente example. Lorena, ¿cómo nos quedaría la hora en las dos formas? What time is it, Lorena, in the second one? Um, sería... It's... It's six... Oh, tiene las seis cero uno. It's one. Yes, right. Oh, lleva o. It's six o o one. One, right. It's six o one. Okay. So another way, de otra forma mm -hmm. podemos hacerlo, Lorena. Six one. It's six one. It's six a one. En el caso que no tuviéramos el cero, right? En ese caso, yes. But in this case, we have the zero. Ya tenemos it's, el zero. Pero ¿qué otra forma? After one. It's six after one. No, no. Vamos a analizar esa. It's six. It's six. Vamos a analizar. Six. It's one. One. one after six. Mm, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's seven. It's six uh, to uh, five nine. Five, five nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in this case, pasa un minuto, right? Sería it's one after one. six, right? Six. Ah, okay. Pasa un minuto de las seis. Okay. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Gracias. Okay, the next one. Can you help me, Josué? Number three. Number three, Josué. ¿Cómo nos quedaría las dos formas? The two ways. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it. Uh, mm -hmm. Pai, eh, no. Okay, it's. It, okay, it's. Five, la primera está bien. It's five. Five. Seis. Cincuenta. Cincuenta, fifty, right? It's five, fifty. Y la otra forma, in the other way. Excuse me. Uh -huh. mm. ¿Cómo nos quedaría de la otra forma? What is the other way? 
Uh -huh. En este caso, como la, la, la aguja está entre las 6 y las 7, vamos a utilizar el to write. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? It's... Okay. It's 10. Muy bien. It's 10. Two, two, six. Two, six. Yeah. Excellent. That's right. It's 10 to 6. Very good. What about number 4, Gabriela? ¿Cómo nos quedaría el number 4? <clears throat> the two ways we can have. It's okay. It's okay. Fifty. Fifty. Number four. Mm -hmm. Number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six. Mm -hmm. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight. 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 Thirty. 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 También eso está terrible. After eight. Muy bien. After eight. Escuché a half también. It's correct. Eight half half past two. Ah, yes, right. Half past eight, right. Half past eight. Okay, perfect, Gabriela. So, can you help me with number five, Edenilson? Please, what time is it? The two ways. Number five. Está en el cinco, en minute five, right? Casi no se alcanza. Okay, number five. It's nine. Oh, five. Oh, yes, right. Oh, five. And the other way? Y la otra forma? It's five. It's five. Past. Past, okay. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine, perfect, there it is. Okay, thank you, Edinson. So, can you help me with the next one, the last one, Josue, number six. What time is it in number six? Number six? Uh, it. Mm -hmm. It's... Mm -hmm. Las doce cuarenta y cinco. It's. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Cuarenta y cinco. Forty five. Yes, right. Forty five. Forty five. Very good. ¿Qué otra forma? Another way to say that? What is another yeah. way? It's a quarter to one. Yes, right. It's a quarter. It's a quarter to one. Faltan 15 para la una. Okay, there it is. I don't know if you have questions, guys, about the, the clocks. No questions? Casi no utilizamos this, this type of clocks, of clocks, right? Watches. Nowadays, we use digitals. Okay, so let's practice in, with your partner. And now you are going to be working in with this activity. This is the time for you to work. Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a revisar eh, John's schedule, right? Vamos a revisar el horario de John. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer sentences. Por ejemplo, ¿qué horas son las tres? Las, en la primera, what time is it in the first one? Vamos a utilizar past. En two, solamente esos dos. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la hora? In the first one. It's, ¿qué? Seven. Ok, utilizando past en two, ¿cómo nos quedaría? It's. it's. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? It's past seven. Mm -hmm. Recordemos... It's. ¿Qué pasan tres minutos? It's three past seven. Yes, right. It's three, It's three past, past seven. seven. And John, and John is getting, is getting uh, up. Getting up. Seven. Getting up. Okay. ok, entonces tengamos cuidado con el sujeto que nos dan. A veces es plural. A veces es singular. También tengamos cuidado si la actividad eh, está acá, 
porque a veces le va a aparecer una hora acá y a veces él no está haciendo esa actividad. Ok, no sé si tengamos dudas o questions. <coughs> questions, guys? No? Ok. Ok, entonces vamos a utilizar past or to. Una vez usted haya terminado with that activity, vamos a escribir cinco oraciones de las actividades de sus compañeros con el que usted esté trabajando. Por ejemplo, Gustavo, eh, at, at what time do you get up, Gustavo? What time do you get up? ¿A qué hora se levanta? What time do you get up, Gustavo? Half a la <laughs> a toda hora. Ok, a toda hora. <laughs> ok. At 8, digamos. It's, a, it's just something that it is not true, right? At 8 o'clock, Gustavo, Gustavo is getting Get up. up, right? Ok, so solamente cinco oraciones más de the de, de previous exercise. Let's practice right and then you are going to present the information. Les comparto siempre the, the pictures in the WhatsApp group so you can uh, copy or take pictures of the activities. I'm going to send them. Give me just a second.
Okay, guys, let's present your information, right? So let's start uh, with, let's see. Okay, volunteers, is there a volunteer who wants to start with the information? Volunteers? The literal A. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's 7.03 okay. p.m. And John is got up, getting up. Okay, what about V? V is um, 7, mm -hmm. 17. Mm -hmm. No. Or, or 10 uh, to 7. Mm -mm. It's seven okay. Okay. Oh, Estamos en la letter B, right? Letter B? Yes. Okay, sería entonces utilizando el pas. It's 10. Ah, okay. 10. Mm -hmm. eh, past. Past 7. 7, muy bien. ¿Y qué nos dice It's, la oración? He taking a shower. En he, muy bien, en he, veamos el 7 y 10. No, ¿verdad? Él no está tomando el baño a las 7 y 10. Entonces, entre, la, entre las 7 y 5 y las 7 y 30, está tomando el baño. Oh, he, no. He takes uh, the yes. shower. Uh -huh. okay, but we have to see, for, for example, the time. Tenemos que ver exacto. la hora exacta. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, en he is Ay, not no. taking or having a shower, right? Having the shower. Es que la hora tenemos que ver. ¿Me ayudan con el, con el audio? Teacher. Teacher. Okay. Yes. But, mm -hmm. es, bueno, si es así, en ninguna hora cuadra. Ajá, uh -huh, en ninguna. Exacto. Veamos 7.35. Por eso lo tomamos. Como periodo. Ah, okay. yes. Ajá, como periodo. Yes, que el, okay. entre, sí, porque no se va a tardar un minuto en ducharse completamente o tomar el desayuno, por decirlo así, ninguna hora va a pasar. Uh -huh. Yes, right. Okay. It's okay, guys. Okay, very good. But let's continue. Dejémoslo entonces con is having, right? Is having the shower. Okay. Let's see letter C. You help me, Ivania. Can you help me, Ivania, with letter C? What do you have in letter C? It's 25 to A. Okay, it's 25 to A. And it's breakfast. To A. And, and he... Si me ayudan, yes, with the microphones, guys, please. Okay, and he is, let's see what time... 35, right? And he is having, having, breakfast. having breakfast, right? And he is having breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, what about letter D? Miss, yes? I have a question. The letter B, why is having the shower and not taking a shower? Having a shower, it's the same meaning, having and taking. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank it's you. the same. Okay, uh, let's see another. Rita, please. Letter D, right? Letter D, Rita. What do you have? Letter D, mm -hmm. it's a school. Mm -hmm. oh, the correct 745. Letter, letter D? Letter D, eight. John, go to the school on. 745. Mm -hmm. Five. Okay. According to the schedule. Okay. About it's, the sentences, say. What time? Eight. Mm -hmm. What time? Eight what time? Eight o'clock. Okay. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. But it's different than the schedule. Let's say it. Okay. And he. And, and he is. He is uh, going, right? 
going to going to school. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, Gustavo, letter E, please. Letter it's, E. Hello? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a quarter after nine. It's okay, it's a quarter after nine. And and John and his friend. And John and his friend are sitting. Are sitting, okay. Uh, are in sitting. class. In class, right? In class. Perfect. Thank you, Gustavo. The next one, Alberto, please. The next one. Yeah. Literal is uh, F. Letter F, yes, letter F. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's fighting two one and it's, John with. Uh -huh. okay, I'm sorry, it's 15, right? If 15 to one. To one. Mm -hmm. and, and John John with his friend. Mm -hmm. John with mm -hmm. friend. Are um, having lunch. Are oh, okay, yes, are having lunch, right? Mm -hmm. Lunch, yes, that's right. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Uh, can you help me? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Jorge, please, the next one, letter G. What do you have? Okay. It is a uh... Teacher, ahí, ahí sería 16 or 4. Okay, it is 16. We can say 16 in la otra forma. It's 16, 10, or we can say it is. Okay, it is uh -huh. 16 o'clock. It is 16, 10, right? Okay, uh -huh. because in the picture, it is 16. Ah, okay, but. La hora que tenemos es But, okay. 16, 10. Okay. It is 16. And? 10. Uh, and John? And John. Uh, playing. Is playing, right? Is playing football. Is playing football. Okay. And the last one. Can you help me? Let's see. Uh, Janira, please, the last one. Uh, it's it's a uh, mm -hmm. 45. Okay, esa es una forma. It's 22, 45, right? Okay. Mm. It's 22, 45. That is another way, right? 45. 45. Mm -hmm. He is sleeping. And he is sleeping. And he is sleeping. Okay, very good, guys. So uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with the other part, right? That it is telling the phrases from your partners. Estas son algunas formas de decir la hora, right? Utilizando past, utilizando after, and using to. That depends of the way you want to say it, it's optional. But it is good to know these phrases. Okay, guys, if you don't have questions, I will say goodbye to you and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, guys? Thank you, Thank you to you. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye.